Ooh, it is hot, folks, but we are back at Universal Studios Florida. Another week means another round of construction updates for Halloween Horror Nights 33, and we've seen some pretty interesting progress in a couple of the scare zones for this year. We have some teases as to what could be coming for the event when it comes to the final scare zone, as well as some new food, some new merchandise. It's July, it's the middle of summer, and I haven't really talked about any of the summer stuff going on at Universal Studios Florida. So we're gonna do it all in this video, talk about some HHN construction updates, talk about some summer things that are going on in the park. I won't waste no more time because it is hot out here. I need to get inside real quick. So let's hop in there and get this thing started. Okay, so when it comes to the front of park scare zone, we did actually talk about what that scare zone is in a previous video. So I'm gonna link that in the cards or down below somewhere so you could hear my breakdown. My thoughts on what we're gonna see in that scare zone, duality of fear, our sort of icon scare zone, if you will, with sinister and surreal. The scare zone is set to be divided into two parts and this section of the scare zone is actually on a corner so you have the one street going towards minion land that's going to be the sinister section we'll talk about that in a bit and then the section going towards hollywood is going to be the surreal section so just wanted to kind of give y'all a framework as for what we're going to see with the scare zone we don't have anything out quite yet but just wanted to give y'all an idea as to what we could be seeing we could be seeing props in the near future nothing yet like i said they don't usually start with this area super early so just wanted to let y'all know that duality fear is going here and yeah that is kind of an update since we were here last so let's keep it moving we're actually going to go to the new york section first because there are some updates over there not much in hollywood so let's start out with new york all right and not hhn related but universal has been doing quite the big rollout for the 2024 Paris Olympics. There are a few photo ops set up in the Music Plaza stage, some decorations on the stage, and a new Coca-Cola themed food truck with some inspired food cocktails and mocktails for the Olympics. The Olympics just started, I believe yesterday, and they're going on until August 11th. So I'm sure these offerings will be sort of limited time. So if you're coming to the park at any time between now and August 11th, come by Music Plaza because they have some exclusive little items, little photo ops, little treats for you to indulge in if you're a fan at all of uh, the Olympics and the uh, Paris Olympics for this year. Last week, there wasn't much happening in New York, but since then we have now gotten a stage here in the alcove for the New York Scare Zone. Now, in a previous video, I did talk about the Scare Zone Tortured Fair and how they have a concept piece featuring this very same alcove with a little stage here. So I'm guessing that this is the stage. We have some speakers up there. We have a little platform, a ladder, for some folks to come and stand on the stage. And uh, based on the concept piece, we could see two thrones here, maybe some little torture devices lining this area. So I said in that video, I'm gonna say it again, I think Torture Fair is going here and we could see by the little stage here in New York. And I mentioned the Torture Fair earlier in this video. Well, it has been confirmed that while Surreal is getting the Demon Queen's Scare Zone, Sinister is set to host the Torture Fair. It said it on the Halloween Horror Nights website. I put the updated description right here. Maybe we'll explore their past a little more as well. Who knows, but very exciting nonetheless. A little update I wanted to share with you all. And coming down Park Avenue here, as you could see, normally they would have some cars lining the streets here, but it looks like the cars have now been removed to prepare for some HHN food booths. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see those food booths going very, very soon. Last year we had the Last of Us food booth here, and we also do Stay and Scream in this area. So they're getting ready for some HHN food booth prep, which is very exciting. Also, for those who didn't know, this is the doorway where they filmed the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire trailer. The kids were sitting there playing chess on the stairwell. The, uh, you know, mom was coming out of the window there and then she later comes out of that door. So right here is where we saw Garaka invade New York for Halloween Hornets, which is pretty cool. Also, as you might be able to see, my camera may or may not pick it up. There are strings tying the lighting fixtures from each building with red and yellow lights connecting them. So if this is Torture Fair, I'm expecting a red and yellow lighting package all along the streets of New York from building to building. So just a little look there. Currently Sting Alley is closed, but as you can see, there are some string lights here in Sting Alley, but you might be able to tell those are all red string lights. Now they typically have a food booth here. They have for the past two years. Last year was Last of Us, the year before was Meaty Meats, but I'm curious to see what they could bring over here. Looking at these red light bulbs makes me think of A Quiet Place, which is one of the big IPs coming to the event this year. They have the red light bulbs when there's danger on the farm. So maybe we're seeing another sort of post-apocalyptic theme for this food booth, some quiet place food coming here, or maybe it's 
something completely different, but either way, we do have some lighting up here. And again, I'm expecting some structures to go up pretty soon for this food booth. And speaking of food this year, we got a little early sneak peek at some of the food coming to this year's event via the premium Scream Night tab on the HHN website, plus a returning favorite that is a food related merchandise item. So let's cut over to voiceover me so we could talk about what was revealed just a couple days ago. Now, as I mentioned, you'll find this by going to the Halloween Horror Nights Orlando website and going under the premium Scream Night tab. Of course, they feature pizza fries. That's the iconic food item of Halloween Horror Nights, although I think Twisted Taters are a little bit better. But they also feature a couple of exclusive items, including the Heartbeat Tostada. This vegan and gluten-free tostada will get your blood pumping with braised ground beets, hearts of palm, hummus, and vegan goat cheese and a corn tortilla. We also have the Poison Apple. This majorly sweet dessert is worth killing for with caramel mousse on the outside, chunks of Granny Smith apples on the inside, garnished with chocolate cookie crumbs and a gummy centipede. Based on this, I feel like we can assume we are going to be getting a major sweet themed food booth with this poison apple because the description did say majorly sweet kind of a little nod there so nothing all too surprising but a few new food items for the event this year however a staple of the theme park world halloween horror nights or not is popcorn last year we had a really cool chucky popcorn bucket featured at the event and it seems like that chucky bucket is coming back this year and they even made a little teaser for it Hey, Chucky! Now on, no more Mr. Good Guy. So yes, we are getting a new Chucky popcorn bucket. It looks very similar to the one that was revealed last year, although this one's a little more reminiscent of his scarred up look from Bride of Chucky. We don't have Chucky at this year's event, but they are bringing back the Chucky popcorn bucket. So maybe we will see Chucky in some capacity here. Also speaking of merch, Universal did do another little tease for some new merchandise coming for Halloween Horror Nights. They put out this little teaser on the Universal Orlando shop featuring Lil Boo and the date 801.24. 801 is August 1st, and that is next Thursday, so I would not be surprised if we get a pretty sizable merch rollout featuring everyone's favorite little pumpkin. And I think here's also a good place to talk about San Francisco. The scare zone, I think, with the most amount of updates from last week. Last week, we saw the initial trusses, the big box in the middle of San Francisco, and this week, we got stages that are pretty telling as to what scare zone is going to go here. While we don't have any official details announced, Universal did tease that Enter the Blum House would be the final thing revealed for Halloween Horror Nights 33. And considering that's all we have left is one scare zone, I think it's pretty clear that San Francisco is going to house a Blumhouse scare zone. What will we see in said Blumhouse scare zone? Insidious, Sinister, Megan, the Black Phone? Not too sure. I'm sure details will be revealed as soon as I post this video right here. But what do y'all think about Blumhouse as a scare zone? Let me know in the comments below. So not a lot of updates happening in the Central Park, Battery Park area. Central Park, Swamp of the Undead looks pretty close to what we saw it last time. Movement of some signs to block people from sitting on the actual, you know, props. It's all starting to look pretty good. Once we see that moss come in that they showed in the sort of concept art piece, then I think we'll start to see a more complete scare zone. I'm hoping for some cool lighting. My tongue is my tongue is so blue. I'm sorry, I had a blue icy. But yeah, putting like some lanterns in the trees or some firefly lighting or something like that to really draw attention to this area, make it feel like a true Central Park scare zone. The real changes though come in the Battery Park bar. I talked about the potential of this being a peacock bar and with the installation of new TVs along the sort of edge where all the other trusses were, it really makes me think we are going to see some sort of themed bar here more than we've seen in past years. We're going to want to watch this area for sure because I think it's going to be something really cool. I wanted to pop in the summer tribute store, which I have not talked about at all this year, which is crazy considering I love these tribute stores and I've talked about how much I love the tribute stores for all the seasons, not just for HHN. And this summer's tribute store is one of my favorite. It just brings the nostalgia of not only the classic properties you're seeing in Sensational and, and Mega Movie Parade, E.T. Jaws, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, all that stuff we know and love, but it's also an ode to like video stores and retro retail. It's really cool. It brings those vibes with the video store, the arcade, the theater. It does all of it and it's amazing and I love going in there. It's supposed to close soon to make way for the next one so um, that's kind of sad of course. That's kind of the circle of life with these tribute stores. They don't stay open all the time. That's kind of the magic of them. But if you're here at any point in the summer, go in here, take it in because it's really a magical one. I really love this tribute store. Man, I'm gonna miss this store. 
when it's gone. This has been one of one of my favorite tribute stores in recent memory. I just love all the retro vibes. Got some VHS on the counter. I've looked through this desk hundreds of times during the summer. It's probably one of my favorite things they've done this summer, honestly. And that's about it as far as updates are concerned. Like I said, not a whole lot going on this week, but a couple interesting progressions and scares since we hadn't really seen anything in quite yet that I did want to talk about. And I do want to kind of keep these at a weekly basis. There might be a week or two where I have to skip it, but I want to try to do these weekly updates in the park leading up to HHM because we're only a few weeks away from the event. It's the end of July. We only have about a month left. We are going to stick around in the park for the Mega Movie Parade and Sensational. We're here in the Hollywood section of the park to do so. It's almost parade time, so let's get a spot and check out the Mega Movie Parade. the mega movie parade far from perfect there are things that can be improved with this parade but it is operating until november it's operating through hhn actually it premieres earlier on hhn nights but it is operating through hhn really fun parade i really like obviously the nostalgic parts ghostbusters jaws back to the future jurassic park that stuff really appeals to me and the characters are top notch i love all the new face characters we got for this parade chief brody the mayor quint uh doc and marty the ghostbusters of course absolutely incredible it's looking like it's gonna rain soon so we may or may not get to see sensational tonight it was looking like it was gonna rain before the parade and we were gonna get rained out but it actually managed to make it through so we'll have to see the music of movies beautiful and powerful soundscapes that help bring to life fantastic stories cinematic music speaks directly to the heart taking us into inspiring adventures and tonight those very melodies call upon us to follow a celestial spectacle 
and you never quite know just where that story may lead. So let the music guide our path and take us on a journey that can only be described as sensational.
folks, doing this outro from my car, I had to just book it after seeing Sensational. What a fantastic show. Probably the best thing that's come out of this summer, in my opinion. Love the drones, love the projections, love everything about this show. And I hope you enjoyed this sort of mixed bag. We got an HHN update. We also got some Universal Summer stuff. Again, I'm trying to do these vlog videos like once a week. I want to try to get consistent in vlogging, putting my face in front of the camera. But anyways, if you like this video, want to see more videos like this, of course, about HHN and Universal, the past, present, and future, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Let me know you like videos like this one. You want me to make more of them. I'm going to drive home and stop filming in my car because I kind of look a little strange doing that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Stay spooky and take care everybody.